look at these beautiful soap rose embeds I'm putting on top of this soap. Look at this beautiful color I'm putting in the soap. And it's fragrance with rose hip jasmine by Brambleberry, guys. This is a beauty, a bouquet beauty. If you want to see how I made it, stay tuned. Hello and good day, good night. How are you doing? My name is Natasia, and right now I'm starting this video off showing you how I made these beautiful flower soap and beds. So, guys, as I make soap, a lot of times there are soap batter that's left over. And what I decided to do, especially since we got Valentine's Day, springtime, and Mother's Day coming up, I decided to take all my leftover soap, put it in a piping bag, and make as many different flowers as I can to make a beautiful bouquet or flower bouquet soap. If you're here for the first time watching my channel welcome 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 everybody is welcome we keep good energy over here you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, everybody's welcome and to my new subscribers thank you to my existing subscribers thanks for holding me down you guys are totally completely unexplicably awesome to me you don't know so I really appreciate it and thank you Right now I have some colors that I'm mixing together and um, I'm aiming for a marble kind of design. I wasn't really too concerned about the middle soap design only because the flowers on the top of the soap itself is beautiful and it's enough um, to bring the design element to and it. This whole soap to me you guys was a process. The whole thing was a process. I enjoyed taking days making different flowers I enjoyed you know taking the time to mix the batter like this soap making this soap was very calming very relaxing very smooth I just really enjoyed this process So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the fragrance. So the fragrance is Rose Hip Jasmine by Brambleberry. They describe the fragrance profile as a blend of rose hip and jasmine fragrance. Now if I had to describe the fragrance, I would say, you know how you smell a bouquet of roses or flowers and at first you get that first hit of that pungent rose fragrance and then it lingers and it softens at the end. To me, it's the soften at the end part is what I'm smelling in this fragrance. It works really good in cold process soap. I soaped between 81 and 88 degrees. Um, it behaved so well, in fact, that some of my uh, soap batter, I feel was a bit too liquid when I mixed it, when I made this particular batch. But I made it work, because that's what we do over here. <laughs> That's what we do over here. If something don't work out, I have to figure out a way to make it work. And that's exactly what I did. Now these flowers guys came out beautiful you hear me look how beautiful the blue the baby blue roses came out I mean it looked like a real rose don't it oh my goodness so 
before when I made a bouquet type soap, I actually piped the rose rose soaps, the rose soap embeds on top of the wet soap. And when I tell you it was so hit or miss because you can't predict how it comes out because the batter can change inside the piping bag and then you can end up with a mess. This time I decided to pipe the rose soap embeds or the flower embeds in advance and then place them on top of the wet soap and I'm so happy I did that. Everything is scented with the rose hip jasmine so even these embeds have the rose scent into it which smells so completely awesome. This just came out really, really nice. Now, if I knew in advance I was making this soap, I would have definitely made some pink roses because them pink things, I don't know what, they like macaroons. They take macaroons, is that how you say it? Macaroon? Macaroon? How do you say it, guys? <laughs> I don't know. They look like food. They don't like no daggone flowers, but I said we're going to use it because I needed the pink to break up that blue color i needed something to break it up i would have even put white on top oh my gosh guys can you imagine i had the white roses next time next time maybe i'll do another video with the white roses and the pink roses that probably looked beautiful but yeah this is what i decided to use and do because these embeds were leftover soap i had in prior silver so it wasn't picked like I didn't really like select these colors specifically for this soap, but you know what I made it work and I think it came out beautiful. this point I was getting comfortable with placing the soap embeds on top and I began to realize that all the ones that I really wanted to fit it's not going to so I decided to try to trim off the bottom so I can squeeze them in the goal really at initially was to have at least three soaps going across which I've done in previous soaps but um, I began to realize that these these uh, embeds were pretty round and they're probably bigger than an inch across. So I was gonna have to improvise and that's what I did. So then I said, you know, we need some leaves. We need to break up this color. We need some neutrals up in here. <laughs> so I decided to pipe the leaves. Now my batter is a bit too liquid here, um, but it did the job. I think that it did a great job in cre breaking up that color so that it feels like there are leaves in the bouquet. And like I said, I started to just zone out. It got to the point where I forgot the camera was on at some points because I was so relaxed in doing this soap. Like I would do this soap every week just to calm myself down and just zone out and go into like a positive zone. You know what I mean? Like there's certain things that we do, you know, that actually just calms us down and just, we can just zone out. <laughs> Now as far as tips, the best tips that I can, or advice I can offer when trying to attempt to pipe the roses, guys, I don't have any real concrete tips I can give you because it really just takes you mixing your batter, feeling the consistency, and piping, and seeing how it feels in your hand when you push it through the attachment and seeing what kind of design you get and then saying okay when my batter is this thick it gets stuck when my batter is this thin it's too loose it just is about practicing um i can tell you wait till your batter firms up but there are points where it gets too firm and it doesn't go through all those little holes so it really is just practicing and getting to understand your batter your recipe your fragrance and just just figuring it out um, this is not my first time doing it. I've done these embeds before, but I started to get a rhythm and I got excited. Look at that. 
look at look at the detail in that i was so happy when i saw those little those little pistols little stamens up in the, <laughs> in the middle of the flower i mean this soap was so beautiful you guys it's just different you know like it's unique it's not the same old same old it's a beautiful gift you know I love it. So this is 24 hours later. I'm molding it and I'm pretty happy with the results. The only thing I wish I did before cutting is steam in the tops, but I can still steam the tops. I could do that at any time. So that wasn't too much of a big deal. I did use sodium lactate to be able to unmold this soap loaf cleanly. As you can see, look at her. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Y'all ready for the cut? Let's get into the cut of this soap. So I couldn't use the multi -color cutter, soap cutter because it would have crushed everything. But look, look at the design in the middle. Look at the design at the top. Look at the roses. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. It's elegant. The middle has like, that purple part has like a little ribbon zigzag at the bottom. It has like a marble color. It's hard to see, but you do see like the pink and the light purple in the middle. It's just that the camera's not really catching it that well. And for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I was just <laughs> not aiming the soap to the camera well. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> but the soap smelled beautiful and it looked beautiful but just so colorful and so elegant i really have to invest in a soap cutter that can handle these big top soaps that i'll be doing because i'm realizing that i love doing the odd the not normal shaped soaps as opposed to the regular squares and i need something that i can invest in but guys didn't it come out beautiful like can you imagine just bait in with this and it just gives off this nice little rosy soft scent oh my goodness some things the beauties and the creativity i mean yeah maybe a little <laughs> so crazy but i love it i love the creativity and i really think i'm gonna do another bar and i'm gonna use like the white and the pink and see how that comes out oh man i can't wait but what do you guys think? I mean, I know there's some design elements you guys probably feel like a change, but hey, this was one design. There's a million other designs that I'm willing to do, especially for Mother's Day and for the spring. I'm ready for the spring, guys, because this is being filmed on the coldest day in New York, and I am not feeling the freezing. I I'm just not feeling the brick. <laughs> But look at the shape at the bottom. The bottom is absolutely different. I wished I let the soap get a little bit thicker, but it came out great. It's so funny when you film yourself making soap, you see so many ideas that you can get. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I have more videos celebrating love. I hope you can get inspired to buy, inspired to use, inspired to try. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Protect your beautiful skin and your energy and click on this video to see more creative and love celebrating videos. Bye for now, you guys.